What is happening, everybody? It is me, the Reverend Raph, and I am here with my friend Carl, aka the Beer Buddy. And we are here on Metal Ruse for another reaction video. Subscribe, hit that button down below. You can get your industry news, interviews, reaction videos, reviews, reports, all sorts of cool shit. And uh, get your metal news from Metal Ruse. That was atrocious, but we'll keep going. We'll leave it in. Fuck it. Who cares? That's not what we're here for. We're here for a reaction video. Now, those of you who have been following us for a little while may recognize this band. We did a reaction to Primrose Path not that long ago uh, for one of their previous songs, and we really, really enjoyed it. This is a band that is coming out of Perth, Australia. We're doing a whole bunch of Aussie band reactions today, so those are going to be coming out on the channel. I don't. This one might be one of the later ones. I don't know what order they're going to release them in. But uh, this is Primrose Path from Perth. Pardon the alliteration. Uh, with their latest one, Obstruct. Uh, let's get into it. Cannot wait. Starting a bit more chill. Okay. Mm. Love that bass work there. Yeah. That counter melody is sweet. Crazy groove. I like this. It's like all the time signature goodness going around. Well, mate, I'm thinking this weird. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, one, two, three, eight. Yeah, this is trippy. I love that intro. Like you were saying, that counter melody mm. on the bass is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's almost Very like different like, from the last one. We guitar got to do a, guitar got to do a little bit of a solo. The bass got to do a little bit of a solo type thing there. Just all really nice and pretty to start it off. And then going into that really kind of proggy riff there mm. is um can we go back actually? I wanna I wanna get that kind of start again and where it comes into the it's about here. riffy part, yeah. Okay, that's wild, man. That's like... Time changes. I think mm. they even slowed down in one of those breaks there. It sort of pulled back and then went back up, like we were talking the, about. The vibes here is just immaculate. It's just... It's literally like... This, this is the kind of shit... Like, I can't play this type of shit, dude. No. Like, I just can't. I can't. This stuff is, like, way beyond me uh, as a musician. Um, hence, hence why I'm doing the podcast instead of <laughs> playing this kind of shit. But no, it's um, oh goddamn, like even it was the way weird... vocals move in it, the the, the way mm. of vocals move in the time in the time chain in the in the in the city. yeah yeah it's it's like, it's like it's it's just also it's like several things kind of interweaving around one another and kind of it has a almost like a like a 
mystical quality to it. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like, it's almost sounds like several different things taken and put together that like they're kind of done independently, but they've come together to, and they work to, you know, but, but obviously that's not the case. It was obviously written together, but it's just, I'm really loving that vibe. I'm really enjoying that. Mm. Prog, Aussie prog kids different. I say this all the time. Mm. Have you noticed I got that one bit of familiar riff in there? It's that one phrase that did it, did it, did it. Yeah, that, that's like driving through the whole thing, keeping yeah. it together. That's like metering the whole song. Yeah, it's, re- it's yeah, but everything's different around that. Yes, it's, and that's, but that's what works, right? Like you listen to a lot of prog stuff, like, like you know, let's look at something like Meshuggah, right? Like mm. a lot of Meshuggah songs, while the guitars and like well there's a lot of stuff that's going all over the shop there'll always be one element that's there holding it together like rational gaze for example yeah. it sounds like the time signature's all weird and fucked up it's not most of it's in four four and it's just like spanking that fucking symbol for the whole song and that keeps it on the meter of the rest of the song um so that's very that's a very very common shortcut not not in a bad way i don't say shortcut in a bad way i mean it's like no, but it's, it's, it very, it's a very common musical device to even even in non non prog music. You'll find if you really pay attention, there'll be something that is pretty much consistent from start to finish in the song that drives it forward on the regular thing. So I'm not surprised when they've got all this stuff interweaving and doing all these cool different things that they have an element just quietly in the background that's tying it together and keeping it all on. It's almost like a checkpoint. It is. It really, really is. And it's, it's one way that, you know, like it's not, nece- it's not necessary. Mm. And you'll find a lot of bands that, you know, a lot of prog brands may not implement that specifically because they want to throw people off it. But, um, when it's used right, it can make prog more accessible. Yeah. It, tr- it translates it into something that the lay person isn't going to struggle with the same way they might with say, some of the more complex stuff by like dream theater, right? Yeah. Where it just kind of goes or like the really, really out there stuff. It makes it that much more accessible to the lay person because they can feel somewhere, even if they're not conscious of it, that constant rhythm or that yeah. constant bit through the background of it. Um, it's a really smart move. It is it's a really smart move. Uh, again, as with the last song that we got from these, that we did from these guys, production's really, really crisp. Um, I'm liking the mix here. The mix is fucking perfect. Like mm. you can, the way everything's laid there, you can hear everything beautifully. Um, you're not losing the bass even when it's going up to those higher registered parts. So it's just the mix on everything here is absolutely crisp, pristine. I don't know who did the mix on this, but fucking great job. And you deserve to get paid a lot more than you did, I think. <laughs> Not to say they underpaid you. No. I'm just like, you could be you're charged. Like, <laughs> you are worth the, whatever the, Whatever you're being paid to do your work, you, you could absolutely be charging Add more. another zero on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pause that there. Pause that there. I thought that I thought that high section was done, which is why I said pause it there. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt it there. But do you notice when she's gone into that that higher register and she's kind of doing the lead stuff and that wandering melody there? Everything else pulled back to something a lot more simple. Mm. That's to, to give her the room to move and do what she's doing, which is awesome. 
you, like those little dynamic, those little little switches in the dynamics there, you know, because you want if what if something's being complicated, you want other stuff to be simple to counteract yeah. it. Like if everything's if everything's really comp, this is again, this is how you can do prog that's that's almost more accessible. Is you have some stuff being really proggy while other stuff is pulled back and being a lot more straightforward. And then you switch it up, right? You have when 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 the other thing wants to go more proggy, you bring the first thing back and they make that more straightforward. And if you can keep that balance like they have here, and I'm not saying necessarily that the vocal line is very proggy, but no, everything but it's else because she's not singing words, it's a yeah. vocal it's a lot it's a vocal line Every, solo. Yeah. It's a pitch solo. Yeah. And everyone else pulling back to the more straightforward and simple bit allows what she's doing there to stand out a lot more. It's mm. really like the songwriting chops that these guys have are impeccable. They know how to balance the elements really, really well. And that's that's the big thing. Like, and I, I guess this is my this is why I love. It's almost like it's your turn. We we have to pull back your turn. We're gonna pull yes. back. It's your turn. We're gonna pull back. Yes. It's your turn. And it just it gives but everyone done a, the done, limelight. Yeah, but done in a way that isn't where it's not necessarily obvious that that's what's happening. Yeah. It just feels like a natural progression in the material. You know what I mean? It's clean um, and tidy and done with a bit of finesse. And There's a lot. There's, there's so much that these guys do that's like, I mean, we could probably deep dive on this for like an hour if we really wanted to. And then the we could probably get them on the show, uh, get them on the two dudes talk music and be told, told we're completely wrong. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's go. Love it. Everything pulling back so the drums can get a bit more, you know. Great vocal range too. Oh crap! Wow, she dropped it. Really dropped mm. it there. Not a lot of women can get that low. Jeez. That was Jeez. that was really I, well done. It was a very it was a very very nice build. I like that they were obviously building back to get to this big kind of uh, big section vocally here. I would I was kind of hoping for maybe a breakdown or something. Yeah, like, that's just my that's just me. That's just me. Oz, yeah, it's uh, it just hits different every single time. Mm. And I can believe what I mean. Didn't these they, like, didn't these like play with um. Butterfly Effect or Carnival recently in Perth? Did they? I'm 90% sure they did. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry. Was it? No. Oh, Carnival? Oh, I swear. Mm. They played a big show recently. They played, they opened for someone. Either way. Yes. Carnival, yeah, yes. Yeah, see, completely well-deserved. December. 
get it back in December. Completely deserved. Like, yep. yes, I can yes, see that being yes, a, yes, a good match. Yes. Like these, yeah, Primrose Pass with Carnival would be a mint combination. Yes, so good. Like, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Let's take this. Yeah, home. let's let's get it. Nice. Nailed. Nice. Like honestly, mm. yeah. Yeah. Building with a little bit of little bit of grit in the vocals, just a little bit towards the end there. The vocal control that you need to it to intentionally put just a tiny, tiny little bit in, just at those special moments. That's really, really good. Yeah. That's really good, man. I'm digging that. Production um, the chart. The video look oh, the video was nothing. The video was what it was. It was Be it was honest. look, yep. Yeah, like the video was like, okay, yep, they were a band wandering around doing different stuff, playing and they're like, fair enough. Um, it was good. The video wasn't sort of, I didn't find the video itself super engaging necessarily, but the song was really, really cool. There was a lot of stuff in there that I quite enjoyed. Um, you know, maybe not going to be in my like constant rotation, but there's definitely a vibe there that I oh, that yeah. I really liked and enjoyed uh, and would 100% go back to. Uh, I really, really want to try and catch these guys live if they ever get over here to the East Coast. But yeah, um, as you know, we were earlier this year scoring things on a uh, out of five basis based on like a thumbs up, thumbs down or a meh from each of us. We've actually tweaked that now and modified what each just going to give it a score out of five. Uh, mate, where do you land on that one? It gets a four just because the video is a bit lacking, but other than that. Yeah. No, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Uh, I will, you know what? I think, yeah, I think that also is going to sit at a four out of five for me. Um, you know, it was good. There was a lot of, oh yeah, absolutely. Like it's, it's not necessarily out of like critiques. I don't think there was anything necessarily bad in there. There was just certain elements of it that were, you know, that were, were, were good that, could have i think been lifted by something great i don't know if you if, if it had more of a like a story driven film clip or a, a film clip that maybe had a bit more like popping production wise mm. going on with it or something might have helped i don't know uh, maybe the last there's an i was very well produced yes yeah the last video in like the church environment that yeah, was really that really was... good um i don't know maybe with the maybe they wanted to let the song speak more for itself with this one hence the slightly more understated film clip i'm not sure but both of us giving it a 4 out of 5, lands that on an 8 out of 10, which means... Wow, 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 is it very nice? It is very, nice, very nice indeed. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what you thought of that one in the comments below. If you think that we don't know anything that we're fucking talking about, sound off in the comments and tell us how stupid we are. Um, if you like the video, give it a like. If not, hit the downvote button there. If you like our banter and want to see more of it, you can head over to the Two Dudes Talk Music YouTube channel where we do weekly interviews with mostly Australian bands uh, and hoping to maybe do some more stuff. So I don't know. We're trying to work on new stuff for this year to advance the channel a little bit. But yeah, head on over there and hit subscribe. We don't spam videos really all the time, so you'll only have really the one a week. Uh, but look, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to my co-host, Kyle. And... Uh, Remember, subscribe to Metal Ruse to get your heavy metal news. And we will see you all at the next one. Peace out. Peace.